Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to today's video. Today we would be discussing about a new candlestick pattern, which is known as belt hold pattern. So let's directly dive into the video. Now, what exactly is a belt hold pattern? Um. Okay. Uh. So disclaimer: I haven't found much examples about this in Indian stock market. But uh, still, let's look at the pattern. How exactly does it work? So, for example, suppose that there's a bullish market which is currently going on. And uh, there's a candlestick which is there. There are some bullish candlestick, uh, some green candlesticks which are getting formed. And all of a sudden, what you see is um, you see a red candle which is getting formed. So, of course, uh, these candles will have some wigs associated with them since it's a red candle. Now, what you see over here is uh, if there is no wig getting formed on the upper body so for example if you look over here there's no upper wig that is getting formed right so this is what is known as belt hold pattern it's a single candle pattern what you can expect from here is that the price will start moving downwards sorry what you can see is you can see that there would be a bearish pattern which will get formed. Now let's understand the what is the market psychology behind uh, this candlestick pattern. So the market psychology behind this pattern is that there were some bullish uh, patterns which was getting formed and over here there is uh, so the price actually opened at this place let me okay so the price actually opened at this place and uh, you know, the market was not actually pushed above, uh, you know, the high is equal to open. So the uh, buyers were not actually able to push the market even further above. So that's the logic behind this particular uh, candle, where you see that the sellers have overpowered and they are actually uh, pushing price downwards. Now, this uh, pattern will generally, there's a disclaimer that this pattern will generally work near your support uh, your resistance line so if the resistance line is over here somewhere here so now you can expect that okay it is not breaching its uh, resistance this particular stock has actually reached its resistance and since it has already reached its resistance that th that is the reason that you see a bearish pattern which is getting formed and the stock has moving in the downward direction uh, let's look at an example uh, although I couldn't find an example in Indian stock market, but what we'll see is we'll see how exactly is this pattern, uh, does this pattern get stopped. So here you see that, uh, let me quickly, okay. Uh, now here you see that there was a bullish pattern before and then there was a bearish, uh, there was a bearish capital which was formed in such a way that there was no high which was created whenever uh, at whatever price it opened that was its high and then the stock uh, actually plunged down uh, and and you know closed uh, creating a red candle so here's where you see that here's where you see that the buyers are no longer able to push the market and that's the reason why the market fell similarly vice versa what you can see is you can see that the market was actually going down and then near the support line if this is the support line um, um, generally this pattern is formed near the support line so now near the support line if you see that the sellers were not actually able to push the market even further down so there was no low which was created your open price was the low price and then you see that the buyers actually pushed uh, this particular stock up and you can see that there's a bearish pattern which is getting formed so this is what uh, it's a single candlestick pattern, but this is uh, it's I think it's an logically uh, uh, you know very incredible pattern to learn about. So okay, that's that. Uh, thank you guys for um, joining me in this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.